Hello everyone. Um, happy Friday. I am, well it's like my second break for the day so it's the last break for the day. But I have been busy, busy, busy. My room is a hot mess. Like get ready. You may have like a complete come apart when you see my room. <laughs> There it is. Look how messy. Boom. So we've had all 45 of our kids. Oof. So we've had all 45 of our kids in my room today completing the STEM challenge. Um, this week I came up with STEM challenge and I am doing an actual main channel video that will be up next week on it. And it's more of like, what are STEM challenges? ways that you can implement them, how to organize them, how to manage them, that type of thing, because they can be very crazy and chaotic. So I'm doing a main channel video that's coming up next week on that, that will have like way more details, but super exciting. I'm not gonna give you guys anything else on it because I don't wanna ruin it. So there you go. Um. So yes, it's been a really good day. My kiddos have now finished their first personal narrative which I'm so excited about um, my afternoon group still has to do theirs so they finished their ouch personal narrative um, and they this one did not follow directions they did a very very good job and I'm very proud of them um, we still have a ways to work to be able to get it to where we want to get it but I was very impressed with how much they actually wrote so Yay! So proud. So, so proud. There's supposed to be a little craft that goes with that, but I don't have time to do the craft. Um, I'm sure that we've done enough crafts. We've done a band-aid. We've done a first aid kit, so they're going to be okay without doing the craft on the other one. I just didn't have time this week. And I wanted it to be done because next week I want to start a different personal narrative so that I can stay on track to where I need to be focused. So, very excited about this weekend. I've been in such a really good mood. I've had, like, and I've been telling a lot of people this. Like, I know that I had mentioned that I am was having a really hard time for a little bit like just me feeling like a first year teacher again and just dealing with you know the different behaviors of fourth grade because fourth grade is totally different from kindergarten and I didn't and I was not anticipating some of the things that I had coming in but this week has been phenomenal and I have been so proud of them and they've worked so hard and we keep having those talks and we keep going back and redoing things and discussing things and it has really paid off oh yeah I put frames up there <laughs> how cool does that look <laughs> um but it has really paid off and I've been very very proud of them um I've also been sitting down with some of the people on my vertical team and we have now started planning out a way to be able to connect the curriculum um so that like because we're doing mass customized learning we want to make sure that we say okay these are what we kind of expect from fourth grade this is what we expect from fifth grade and sixth grade so we're taking our standards and kind of sitting down and mapping those out and I can show you guys that later on this afternoon but it is going to take forever <laughs> to get it done so it's a lot a lot of work but it's gonna be well worth it in the very end because next week and I might sh like vlog this weekend so that I can show you guys what it is and I'm talking about but next week what we're doing is I'm going to have each kid have be on a specific plan if that makes sense so that they know what activities they have to complete in order to be able to master that concept that skill that they're working on so let's say it's analyzing characters right now it's actually summarizing so it's summarizing fiction well there's going to be different i can statements that they're going to have to try to achieve within a week and there may be like three of those that they have to do so it may take really long time but they have to complete those complete the tasks that go with it to be able to show that they've mastered that skill my battery's about today and I know that probably sounds really, really confusing, but it's, it honestly is not as confusing once you see it like on paper. Um, me just telling it to you probably is confusing, but that's what I'm working on with them. So I'm very excited to be doing that because it's kind of helping me be able to see what it is that I need for my, um, my fourth graders, what I expect from them. So that's really useful. 
we're gonna continue working on personal narratives I'm excited about that um, I have some other ideas planned later on for that we're gonna continue rolling on with our data binders and really getting them chugging oh because those are actually gonna go into their data binders so that's gonna be a big component for reading for their data binders to show that they are mastering and meeting some of those standards so we don't have report cards it's crazy we don't have report cards I'm excited though it's awesome we don't have report cards so this is going to take the place of the report card so that I can sit there with a the parent during their conference and say listen this is where your child is this is where they need to be going this is how we're going to be getting them there so that's that in a nutshell um yes so I might be vlogging a little bit so I can show you guys some of the things that I will be working on for that um, I am also planning on trying to get some of my book stuff done um, I don't know if some of you guys know but I am working on an organization book for teachers um, and I am writing that with another teacher friend of mine so we are very excited to try to finally start getting that like to its ending point um, so there'll be more details on that very very soon I'm very excited about it it's gonna be so useful and it's very helpful it's very time-consuming right now but it'll be so useful for so many teachers who just need that extra help because I had to learn the hard way and I don't want everyone else to learn the hard way there should be no reason why everybody has to learn the hard way why can't we just all share it so that's what I'm doing um but yes i don't have much much more time i want to get another soda i ran out of diet coke so i need to go find a soda and i need to also i don't know i can't think with my hot mess right here <laughs> that's a good thumbnail i'm just saying i look her i look her i get to wear jeans today yay a good day good day when it's a jean day mm -hmm. but yes I'm gonna be doing a lot of planning this weekend which is probably what's gonna happen oh my gosh okay I gotta go pee I'm gonna go get a soda and I'll talk to you guys later on bye end of the day now and I am trying to get ready to go so hold on I am trying to get ready to go so that I can go home. So excited, it's Friday! I get so happy on Friday. So happy. Um, the STEM challenge was phenomenal and it went great. I'm so glad I looked in that basket because for the STEM challenge, I brought little Lego figures and I took them from my son's room in the middle of the night. So I need to make sure I take these home. Or else he would be so upset at me if I have all his little mini Lego figures um so I have pretty much everything done my desk is semi clean I have like a little a little pile of stuff that I have to still figure out what I'm doing with um so getting that together double checking we have book fair next week we have a new writing unit we have a half day on Friday Oops, sorry we have book fair next week we have uh, um, a new unit in writing that we're starting I'm starting small groups next week and uh, what else book fair small groups new writing unit we have a half day on Friday and then the next Monday we have it off so three-day weekend I'm so excited you know, I get so excited about three-day weekends and all this other stuff everything's pretty much cleared off which I am so happy about. I hate it when everything is messy. So me staying and being able to do it, I know it's Friday and I'm like, I wanna go home. It's like almost five o'clock, but I tell myself, ah, my fingers. <laughs> I can't get, okay, it, it, I, I got it off. We're fine, everybody's okay. I tell myself that I'm gonna give myself until five o'clock. I'm gonna work hard until five o'clock and then come five o'clock I am out the door like I'm done I'm gone 
I have my morning message ready for the morning. So tomorrow they're gonna walk in and it is Mindset Monday. Can you, what can you say instead of this is too hard? Um, so I have that done. I have their morning message done up here. So that looks good. I have a little bit of a mess happening over here. I had to, let me show you. I had to remove all of my books from here because I just noticed that two of those are, ugh, that drives me nuts. Did you notice that? These handles are totally different than the other handles. Why is that? Ugh, not okay. Okay, that looks a little bit better. At least it's symmetrical. Um, I had to remove all of the books from there because I had some little sneaky kids who were not wanting to read their chapter books. And I'm like, guys, you gotta read your chapter books. It's not an option, like for real. Like you gotta do that because it kind of goes along with everything that we're learning. So, um, so I had to remove them and put them up over here. So I have to figure out what to do with some of my other things because now that stuff doesn't fit. Um, but let me show you. It's a big, hot, juicy mess. Like, how does this, <gasps> crazy. And then these things drive me crazy. Like, sometimes I love these and then sometimes I'm like, I really, really, really do not like having these things. Let's, um, I have one version over here and then over here and then I have the other version over there because it just drives me that crazy. Like see, and those two are smaller. Like it just <gasps> drives me nuts. Okay, so I am trying to finish my last little bit of stuff that I need to finish. I'm looking over a bunch of junk. Like my kids straight up leave stuff everywhere and no matter how hard I try, somehow, Stuff still seems to end up everywhere. I feel like I'm sweating. We're gonna have to figure out what to do with all that junk. Okay. Have that. That's done. Okay. All right. I think everything's pretty much finished. Or at least it's nice and neat, semi neat. Hmm. I'm gonna leave that out. Um, super proud of their unit. Majority of them got done. I still have a couple of stragglers that just could not get their stuff done today. So I'm taking those home. I feel good like about like lesson planning as far as like next week goes. But y'all, like I have so much stuff to grade. I am so not used to grading stuff. Like I didn't grade stuff in kindergarten. <laughs> now I have like papers upon papers upon papers to grade. Like I have to finish grading my DREs, now I have to look over this writing assessments. It's like, whoa, like no joke. And then I have my reading responses, which I'm actually doing really well with reading responses. So, it's taking me forever right now. But I'm gonna get it done, it's gonna be fine. All right, look at this little area. I'm loving how nice and neat all of this is. I need to make a label for that one. But loving how nice and neat this little area is. I still have a couple of papers that I'm trying, I'm waiting for to get rid of to file. This stuff is for like next week that I'm going through. So I just kind of left it there. And on Monday, I'm going to sort it into my file cabinet. But super cute little area. That sink's still doing that. <laughs> um, but yes, it's been a good week. Good, good week. My plan is to, to move all of the ouch stuff, like all of that, and then their little stuff. All that writing is going to get moved out into the hallway next week. Um, and then I'm going to take down their best part of me's. And then those, I'm not sure if I want to send them home or if I want to create a writing por portfolio for them. I may want to create a writing portfolio just because I like creating portfolios. That's probably what's gonna happen. I'm gonna create a writing portfolio so I can show you guys how I organize it. I did it in kindergarten, so if you've been watching my vlogs for a while, you may have already seen how I do it, but this is the way that works for my brain. It's the way I like to do it, so that's the way I'm gonna do it. Um, I have to tote all my junk out, so. I am going to start wrapping up. I hope you guys had a phenomenal week. My week was 
really, 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 really amazing. The air conditioner just turned off. That means it's five o'clock. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Sorry that it's a little bit random and chaotic and sporadic, whatever. Sorry. Um, hope you guys had a really, really great week. Enjoyed this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up for me to keep doing them and share it out, subscribe, and I will talk to you guys really, really soon. Bye. <laughs>